Welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Goose, where we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and yes, irritating. I am the Goose. Glad to have you back. And I know, not wearing the same shirt, my lucky shirt. Don't even have my lucky cup. Why, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you. A blizzard is why. And not just any blizzard, a Minnesota blizzard. So it's the real deal. So cut me some slack here, will you? (laughs) Uh, We'll start the way we always do, with some good, strong coffee. Strong, just like my opinion. And got some creamer in there to make it sweet, just like me. Mmm, good stuff. A little bit of bonus before we get going here, and forgive me for the notes, it's a new thing. We're part of the affiliates program now. And what that means is, well, what it doesn't mean is we're selling you things. We're not salesmen, that's not what we do. Uh, But what we... uh, will show you if you just tack, uh, uh, click on the link below is some items that we use all the time we're very familiar and very fond of and you could check it out if you're uh, if you decide you want to take part in that uh, you will uh, help this program continue and we're very uh, happy and very proud to uh, bring this to you whenever we can what are we going to talk about today well, the hottest thing in music, it's the TNT boys from the Philippines. Uh, recently, we uh, talked about their great success on the um, the world's best uh, contest on CBS. The first one, uh, the first one I was familiar with was right after the Super Bowl. And uh, nothing uh, puts you to sleep like this, the, the Super Bowl this year. But the TNT boys from the Philippines were the big star. They, uh, they wowed the judges. And they're going to do it again this week. I'll have details for you here in just a second. Let's talk about, first of all, where they're from. Yes, they're Filipino. But even more than that, they come from real poverty uh not uh you know uh, like we see and hear people complaining in places like the united states where they really don't have much for poverty it's the real thing in the philippines uh one of the young men francis uh came from a, a very poor family he started singing when he was two years old you talk about a god given gift uh he had it right away and and he still has it uh, how did he really start making some money? Well, it wasn't by singing. It was a lot like what Manny Pacquiao did when he was a child. He would uh, go up and down the streets and pick up recyclables, you know, plastic uh, um, bottles for uh, water, for example, and he would sell them and he made money. And, and it, was, it was a very nice thing. And his family, um, at first his, his auntie was, is really his hero. She adopted him. And uh, turned him on to education, and that's what he's, his uh, his goal is now is, is education beyond his his singing. Um, another one of the uh, TNT boys is uh, Mackie. Uh, Mackie came again from a very poor family. His father got him involved in singing contests at a very young age, and it was you know uh, the the world is the oyster for young Mackie. He's been. Uh, he's just got a slew of, um, of trophies and he's, he's winning now as a, a member of the, uh, TNT boys. And, uh, the last bandmate is, uh, Kiefer's. And, uh, Kiefer's from Davao and they know poverty in Davao. His dad is a jeepney driver. And, uh, I'm always, uh, uh, fascinated by jeepneys, uh, how they do it. Uh, not so much the driver, although the driver is the main guy. His dad was the driver, but, uh, Kiefer was the guy hanging out the back window with the money, taking, taking the payments. And he learned a vocalization, uh, during that uh, period, uh, you know, relaying messages from the passengers to his dad and back and forth. It was very cool. So, you know, all three of these young men, uh, very talented, uh, musicians, uh, come from poverty and nothing teaches you, uh, thankfulness and humility like poverty. So uh, good for them. Now, uh, we're going to show you, uh, but before we show you this video, and it's amazing, and it's exclusive, the uh, video comparison that we have here. Uh, you've seen one or the other in uh, various uh, YouTube channels, but we're going to show you both side to side, and you'll see what an amazing accomplishment this is. But, but first, I want to tell you that the TNT boys are going to be on the world's best again this Wednesday, which is uh, what the uh, 13th, 14th? No. Uh, 11th? I'll, I'll get it figured out. It's this coming Wednesday. Um, before Thanksgiving. Uh, before, see how screwed up I am with my dates? <laughs> Every day is Thanksgiving, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, before the Wednesday before Valentine's Day, okay? 
I knew I'd get it. Uh, it's on CBS on Wednesday, the world's best. They'll be performing again. And you want them to win? You can help them win by voting. So take part in this, if you will. Now we're going to show you, again, this is an exclusive video comparison of the TNT boys copying, mimicking the Bee Gees. Now that's a tough task. I grew up watching the Bee Gees as a, as a teenager. They were, you know, uh, amazing, an amazing group. In the video, you're going to see them performing and the, what the TNT boys will be copying. And there's no greater compliment than, uh, you know, uh, imitating somebody. Uh, the, the Bee Gees uh, will put on an amazing performance, but watch the TNT boys with their great outfits do the same next to them. Okay, watch this. Nobody gets too much Wasn't that amazing? At first it was funny. Oh, these kids are just having fun. But no, that's uh, a serious talent. Did you notice who one of the judges was? My first uh, heroine, if you will, of Filipino music, Sharon Coneda. She knows music. What a great performance, huh? And again, take part in the world's best on CBS this Wednesday. Vote for the TNT boys. Good luck to them. And that's it for this edition of Coffee with the Goose. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear what you have to think about the show, and I will respond. All right? You take care.